Welcome back. And today we're going to learn how to take the tens ring off of a clarinet barrel or any other joint. We'll get right to it right now. Okay, here's a clarinet barrel. First thing we have to understand is these tenon rings are not symmetrical. When we get it out, we'll see it better, but the part that's against the wood usually flares a little bit. So if you ever see a barrel where it flares on the top and there's not a smooth transition to the wood, that means the tenon ring is on upside down. If you ever see little chips next to the wood where the tenon is, is usually someone taking some flat piece of metal and kind of hammering it off and taking a chunk out of the wood. We're going to try not to take chunks out of wood on this example because it's a nice buffet barrel. Uh, later on, we'll learn how to clean these really good if there's any green junk growing underneath it. That's one of the main reasons you want to take one of these off. If your tenor ring is loose, that means the wood is not properly hydrated. And properly hydrating wood will be in another video also. Today, we're just going to take off a ring and basically put it back on. Since it's nice and tight, it doesn't need hydrating, though you can always oil the inside of the bore. Usually, I tell people to oil the inside, especially of a barrel. A barrel dries out usually here inside the top tenor ring first. Just take a Q-tip and either take some bore oil or almond oil or whatever other solution you want to use. And just wipe it in here. Wipe down the barrel some in the bore and the other socket. And just let it sit overnight. The next day, if, it, if it's totally dry the next day, apply some more. Keep doing that until there's a surface film of oil. And then simply use a towel like this one and wipe off the excess. On the entire clarinet board itself, you can use a cleaning swab or maybe a thick towel and kind of push it down with a rod, being caref careful of the register vent and the thumb hole. But we'll get right to it. What we have here really is quite easy. We'll be using a razor blade. It could be a used razor blade. It doesn't have to be sharp, just has to be pointy. And that's the key right here. We're getting right to it. We're trying to, of course, get the razor blade between the tenor ring and the wood here. We do not want to go at an angle because we'll end up shaving wood off of the barrel. We don't want that. We have to be careful once you get it in there because we don't want to scratch the wood. If you have a spare junk barrel, even a spare um, plastic or rubber barrel, you may want to practice on those first so you don't damage in a more expensive barrel. Like I said, this is a Buffet R13 barrel and they're not quite cheap. For instance, here's a that's a rubber barrel. This is actually a rubber barrel, but probably from a Bosian Hawks. You can actually try this. You can actually try this one too. I push it up against the metal ring. Slowly push it in there. The key here is taking your time and patience. It's in there just a little bit. As you can see here, now I'm going to try to rotate it around and create a small gap. Once we create a small gap, we can then create a bigger gap and a slightly bigger gap and then a slightly bigger gap. It takes time because this is pressure fit onto the socket. So we got to be really careful and really slow. We're starting to get a little bit of separation here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably over this side, you can see maybe a little bit of separation there. 
So it's slowly moving. I'm slowly wiggling back and forth, as you can see. I'll try to move it up a little bit so we can see this. I'm holding the barrel very hard so I don't slip. And once you get in a little bit, you can actually wiggle the blade just a little bit back and forth. That will help just a little bit. Don't do it too much. You don't want to break off the tip of the, uh, of the razor blade between the wood and the tenon. In this case, I think there's rubber in the tenon. At times, you just want to take some big pliers and just rip the thing off, but don't be tempted with that. It is not as easy as it looks. Ah, in that case, you can see here, I actually, <clears throat> I actually broke the uh, tip off the razor blade right here. You can see that, there's better on the blue. I actually broke the tip off the razor blade right here. Ever so slightly. This is why some wrists like ringless barrels. <laughs> Don't have to worry about the rings. Of course, always be careful. The razor blade is sharp. This case went right in there without really trying hard. We're going to try something a little bit thicker. I wonder. It was in there. Wood is that wood is actually easier than hard rubber. Rocking back and forth. Let's see if I had a second one now. We're slowly getting it started. There's a little gap there, still super hard to get off. Use some paper just to show you how much gap there is. Sticks in there pretty easily. You wanna make sure you don't push it down because at this point, the ring is going past the edge of the tenon. So you don't want to push it back down. This is, of course, a straight edge. Making sure I get up against the metal tenon itself. Pushing a little bit, going around.
this I believe is a flute ironing pad or flattening pads. But if you use a spark plug gap set, you can get about the same thickness of metal. Doesn't even stay in there anymore. Just now. This fits in there now. Slowly getting there. Rubber's a lot tougher than wood. It's at a point now where I actually push it out with some thicker material. Not yet what a thinner washer will do. You can also try just to push it out like this. This is just a thick metal rod. Just a thick metal rod. Try just to push it out some. A little bit without having this touch the ground and holding it up in the air. Bingo. Now that's a hard way of doing it. The easy way of doing it actually is putting this in the refrigerator for a little bit because the wood or rubber is going to shrink a little bit before the metal will. Probably like 15, 20 minutes maybe, and it would shrink a bit. But that shows us getting the um, tenon off. Now let's look at the tenon real quickly. There's a little bevel to this edge right here. And we can't see it right here, but the tenon is not flat. This side is wider than this side. We can measure it briefly. Measure the bottom of it first. Just catching the outer lip. Change this to this is thirty one point six five millimeters. Let's go to the other side, flip it around. Thirty point three nine millimeters. So it definitely is not symmetrical. We'll find that out with other barrels too. We'll do this buffet one real quickly.
31.23. Right in the middle here. Thirty-one point seven five. Thirty-one point eight. The outside was thirty-one point two five. So you can see it's not symmetrical. <clears throat> so one always has to pay attention to putting the ring back on. You'll see that slight bevel on the large side, but not on the other side. That's usually the case. After this point, you can clean it. We'll be showing a later episode how to clean rings and stuff. You can use stuff like uh, just metal polish and that'll clean up just good. This one isn't very dirty. Put it on, it's fairly easy. Make sure you got the bevel on the inside. And then just tap it down. Viola, it's back on. And hope you like that quick episode about how to take a tenon off. It's a little bit easier than rubber on a wood barrel. And of course, if you're putting the refrigerator for a little bit, it shrinks the wood just a little bit, and the metal won't shrink at the same rate as the wood. So it's a little bit easier to take off. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Like, subscribe, and have a good day. Mm -hmm.